Hey, 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 welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and today let's have a review on the Celine Triumph wallet on a chain bag. This beauty over here. Unboxed it a few weeks back and well, maybe the more correct term is that I published the unboxing a few weeks, weeks back. I have actually owned the bag for a few months already and used it a fair amount. So I thought I would give you a review of, of the bag in general, how much it fits, what does it look on, mod shots. And I have also actually purchased a separate strap to it. So let's look at that. And just in general, let's talk about the bag. There is too many videos on my channel already over me lusting over this bag. So I probably won't go into too much detail. I hope, I think, about how much I wanted this and how extremely happy I am that I finally have it. But uh, this is the Celine Triumph bag, but the wallet on chain version. I have it in the black leather with gold hardware, because this is the combination, right? At least in my, my opinion, like it's just, it's beautiful. So it has the gorgeous Celine Triumph logo as the closing mechanism over here. Let's go more into that later. On the back side, it's completely smooth, no pockets, no nothing. Sides, they tip inside, as you can see, so they fold inwards from here, which usually means that there is a little less space inside, right? And then on the bottom, there is no feet, and it also curves a bit to the inside, so it's not like a completely flat surface. That is the exterior of the bag. This has a button opening. So the bigger sized Triumph bags have like a button on the side of the logo, but this is a smaller one. So it has a button that you can pop open. This is what it looks like from the inside. It says Celine Paris over here and nothing on the snap button on this side. This is what this side looks like. Inside leather is odier, so smooth. It is softer than the outside leather though. So that's good and bad at the same time, I think, because every time I open it, I'm like, it's so soft and smooth. And then I also realized that if it is that soft, it will show signs of wear sooner. <laughs> but <laughs> let's talk about that later, shall we? I have the strap inside the bag to store it, but basically under the flap, you can see how the strap is attached and it can be removed from here. So it's there's two buttons that you can open and then just like slide it out if you want to use it as a clutch or insert another strap. Inside of the bag, let's see, I have some kind of hair in here. How lovely. Mine, presumably. Inside of the bag, hopefully you're able to see as it is completely black. It has a big, big compartment. And on the back side, there is six card slots and then a very, very flat pocket that you can maybe put on some bills or paper or whatever, like slim stuff. And that's it. It also has embossed on the leather made in Italy here. I don't know if you can see it, hopefully. But yeah, so that's kind of embossed, not written in gold like this one, for instance. And that is it. Uh, <laughs> like bag wise of what it looks like the chain is it has like a nice weight to it but it's not overly heavy and on the shoulder it has a leather part to make it more comfortable 
which is lovely and I think that's a great detail of Celine to realize that especially if it is like the chain next to bare skin it might start feeling something <laughs> after a while especially if it is hot summer or or anything like that um but yeah that that is the bag so if we talk about measurements here i will put on the screen the measurements of this bag and my biggest concern was will this be too like tiny i am a tall person i am 180 centimeters tall five foot eleven so like having a tiny bag next to my not so tiny body uh something i was considering and being mindful of but i actually went and tried this on a few times took video and picked pictures of me like wearing it and i kind of felt that it was okay and if there is someone who feels like that i should not be wearing so small bags so be it i don't care <laughs> because i don't mind and that's pretty much all that matters right how we feel when we wear the bags um my only not really a concern but a thought was the length of the chain uh because of, obviously you can't adjust this or maybe you can you actually can or i don't know if that's meant to be done like that but um as i mentioned it is but it is kind of attached by two buttons underneath so if you open the two buttons let's see and then you just close it with one button instead of two pull these through like that so now you have made the chain longer and you see this part which is not pretty not in my eyes anyway but you can make the chain longer um but yeah so it kind of was the thing that was bothering me of like is it too short i mean it's not really but like would i prefer it to be longer so here as you can see you can remove it and this is what it looks like now so here here are the parts that you attached it to before i even purchased this um I did compare this to the bigger sizes and like this length wise it's not that much smaller or height wise it is most about the width of like how much stuff you can then like fit in here next to each other but I came to the conclusion that like my basic arsenal of things they don't take that much spa space anyway, so if I would have gone with the bigger sizes, I wouldn't get them full. And it's not the meaning to get them completely full, I know, but just like they could fit in here and the price difference between this one and the bigger ones was or is quite big. So I felt like just to have a bit of like extra space here is not worth thousands of euros to me so i'm like super super happy with this one price wise size wise look wise the look side actually there was something that made it even a tad better for me was one thing and that's regarding the chain strap so i love the look of the bigger bags where the strap is leather so it's the same color as the bag and yes, it makes it maybe more like everyday bag and not so much like evening or festive or, or anything like that, which I feel that the chain does. It kind of elevates the bag itself and makes it more special occasion appropriate. So um, that was kind of one thing that I really loved about the bigger sizes was the look with the leather strap. But that's easily fixed <laughs> uh, because you can remove the chain strap from this one I ordered from Etsy a black leather strap and I will link this exact one to the description box if you are curious and the reason why I kind of couldn't really take whatever strap for this is pretty much the fact that inside the leather is so soft and smooth that if there would be like a chain going through here or something it would absolutely make dents into the leather which 
I mean, I'm okay by having some wear and tear on my bags. I'm not okay of intentionally doing something that I know will, <laughs> will give the bag a lot of wear. Plus, if you consider the strap that this bag comes with, also the inside is leather. So the chain comes only after, not inside. So that was really something that I needed to look into what type of leather strap would work on this bag. And I ended up with this one where the idea is that you basically, you can remove this stud from here to then like push it through the leather loops and then attach the gold thing again and then push it through this like that. So then this loop is attached to this inner loop over here like like so i will attach it and then show it also what it looks like on me with with the leather strap but um this i feel like for me is not the game changer but it really makes a difference so now i have like two looks for this bag a more everyday look <laughs> and then a chain more fancier evening appropriate festive glamorous looking strap uh, if I remember correctly from the bigger sizes, you can't really remove the strap, at least not from the teen or the medium size, which were the ones that I was looking for. Anyway, but yeah, so I have an additional strap for this bag and uh, this was labeled as a strap for Hermes bags. And that's kind of how I figured that if people buy these straps to help with their Hermes bags that don't come with a strap, or whatever then probably the quality is good good enough <laughs> uh for me as well i just needed to be be certain that the width of this leather is uh suitable for the loops inside the back so i will insert some uh much videos of me trying this on with the chain strap with the chain strap long longer chain strap and then with this leather one over here so then after that we can go into what fits here we have the chain strap as it's meant to be so this is basically where it hangs on on my frame so basically my hip bone is here and chest is here so it kind of goes a bit below my chest now i have moved the chain buttons so they are closed with two so i've now have them only on one so it gets a bit longer with the chain so here is my hip bone so it's now basically on on that then chest is here so you can kind of get it on a lower position as well with the the existing chain but of course it looks a bit weird doesn't it when it comes through to eat the, each of these but just so that you know that it's also possible to make the the original chain a bit longer by opening these uh inside buttons here pretty much okay and here i have it with the leather strap sorry about the lighting uh it seems to be a bit darker now that it was before so my camera decided to put on like a flashlight of its own but hopefully it's okay and the dust on the mirror is not too bad for you but basically this this is the look then with the the leather strap compared to the the chain one so uh you can adjust this strap that i have i have it in the longest setting but you can also order it in the length you want pretty much and inside it looks like this, basically. Oh, the dust is visible. How lovely. But yeah, that's what it looks like on the inside. And this is what it looks like when worn. I have now put in here the items that I usually carry in this so we can see what it fits like and as we, we can see maybe in the beginning it's not bulging from anywhere like the items fit 
which is important. If you watched the unboxing video, you might have seen me unbox also a flat card holder to use with these bags. So it does come with the card slots, but I am really terrible at using those card slots. It just, I'm more into having a card wallet or, or something to like use externally. So I am not in my life using the card slots, but of course, if you are, then that will, uh, give up more space but let's go so this is how i have packed it so far uh, on the top i have a lip product then i have airpods i have my louis vuitton key pouch with my house key i have a card holder so this fits four cards in here and then it has a zipper, but it's rather flat. And then I have my phone case for an iPhone 11. So if you are curious to see, I can put the phone case in. So this is how much space it has after the phone case. Uh, so it would fit a bigger phone as well if, if you are interested, but yeah. And that's what I usually tend to carry here. Phone, card holder, keys, AirPods, lip product. That's it. I am happy with that. And it fits beautifully. Like, I have no issues closing it and so on. So all good. But I also have brought out some other items here that we can have a look of different use cases, if you will, uh, for this. Round two. Once again, it's not bulging from anywhere. This is what it looks like to start with. So I have AirPods, house keys in my Louis Vuitton key pouch, and Louis Vuitton mini pochettes in case you are wondering of that size as well. And of course, in this one, there could be whatever. This is not stuffed to the brim, but there is still some items inside in here. So basically you can fit a mini pochette and use this as your wallet or maybe makeup pouch or whatever, then have a key pouch additionally, and then AirPods or something bulky. I think that is pretty great. Example three, you are a person who carries your phone in your pocket or in your hand that you don't need to put it inside the bag. So what else could you then carry with you? Using the card slots built in, there's AirPods, lip products, keep pouch, some tissues and sunglasses. And yeah, they were not in any kind of case. A proper case would not have fit, but also I just couldn't bother to do anything else. But sunglasses do fit as well. So of course, depending on what type of sunglasses you have, these are from Fendi, a few years old, but they could fit in here. So if you would use the card slots, you could have sunglasses, keys, AirPods, some kind of lip product and phone in your pocket or whatever. Last example. So once again, you aren't carrying your phone in your hand or somewhere else. So this is basically with a bigger wallet and so on. But there is the lip product, hand sanitizer, Louis Vuitton key pouch, and a Chanel card wallet or mini wallet or whatever you want to call it. So this is the size difference here maybe like that so it is possible to also carry a bit more like thicker card wallet or card case or mini wallet or something like that but then of course need to think about what else fits so hopefully you got some kind of idea of what this beautiful bag actually fits and i feel like it fits a lot more than you could maybe imagine and of course it depends completely of you and what you carry with you but for me, this just, this fits all the needs. This would not be an everyday handbag for me anyway, um, just because of the leather. Uh, I was visiting and trying out uh, a Celine, I think it was the Triumph 
medium sized version uh maybe six months ago or so and the salesperson said or basically he asked would this be an everyday bag for me and i said no and he was like good because the leather is rather delicate so if this would be worn every day it would truly start showing the wear and i'm like okay well at least you're honest here but that wasn't really a surprise if you have watched any videos of the celine triumph bags basically everyone says that the leather can be quite delicate and I could imagine like having these rings and then just like scratching it that's something I'm very mindful of when I'm wearing this bag uh, but other than that I have had this now for a few months and I have no signs of wear on it let's see how how this lighting would show you that there there is basically nothing on it and I'm, I'm really pleased of course I'm not expecting a bag to show wear in a few months but I feel like everyone kind of scared me <laughs> with this bag of like it being super delicate. Um, but all in all, this is not my everyday handbag. So it doesn't need to fit like everything that I might carry to the office and such. I'm just super pleased with this bag and I'm happy to um, influence anyone to go for this one over the bigger sizes. But I mean, obviously it's completely up to whatever's preference whoever's preferences are what you want to carry with you what you like appearance wise is this too small for you do you feel like well done chains are just slgs with a strap like we're all different um but i'm i'm super glad i got this when i finally have it i can use it it's it's beautiful like look at it it's so gorgeous I'm just, I'm so pleased and so happy and uh, maybe I will just leave it at that. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!